What's up Sunday fam? Welcome back to another video. This week we are going to be talking about Season 2, Identity Part 2. And it's a huge episode, so let's get into it. So you're probably wondering what I'm doing here alone. Well, I'm flying solo this week. Flip is off on a business trip in Singapore, but we have a few words from him. So let's check in with Flip. What's up guys? Welcome to Watching Sundays. Flip here reporting to you in Singapore. That's right. I'm so jet lagged right now, but I just watched Identity Part 2. It was oh, amazing, amazing episode. These two part series was just spectacular, grandiose. We got everything that you ever asked for. We got space battles. But first, I know Element. Element, you had your theory, you had your predictions that Isaac would find Ty's drawing to make him change his mind, but that wasn't the case. But, but, it was Ty that set the stage for Isaac's redemption. He, you know, just like a little kid, he wants to know why Isaac is doing this, why is K the Kalons doing all this stuff. He runs straight into uh, the Kalons guarding the shuttle bay, and the butterfly lasers come out. Tala gets, gets stunned, I guess. Oh my god, it was so amazing. Yafit gets involved. Um, I was just waiting for Yafit to get involved in the season. It was amazing how he he uses his slime, his sludge, to short circuit and malfunction the Kalons, which I didn't see coming. Like, uh, it, it, like I don't know how that works. Does that, um, you know, the liquid gets into like all the the organisms and mechanisms of the Kalon and short circuits them, and that, that was just really cool. Really cool to see Yafit back in action. Him and Ty. Uh, they go in to send a distress call signal to the Union, and wow. I mean, not only that, uh, Kelly and Gordon, uh, they go on into this suicide mission being chased by the Kalon into Krill space. You would expect that the Krill would be uh, very apprehensive to trust them, as they showed in this episode, but they uh, get into this space battle with the Kalon ship that was chasing them, and man that was really awesome and like after you saw that you knew you, you knew that there was some kind of hint that the krill was going to join the battle all i have to say is that the space battle is like shades of battlestar galactica i mean this episode had everything the kalons the cylons um and the orville is is uh, battle battlestar galactica the crew that space battle was immense it was so grand like i wonder how many losses like how much did the union lose before the krill came in to eventually uh save the day they saved the day and man i just can't describe how amazing that space battle was like i was a little bit disappointed that gordon wasn't back on the orville to pilot the ship as it maneuvered but the action in in those sequences was breathtaking I love this episode. Love it. Love it. Love it. Guys, you have to tell us your comments down below. What did you think of this episode? What is going to happen to Isaac? I assume that he's going to just retake his position on the Orville and um, is essentially just the lonely Kalon that has no home. But you know what? As Dr. Finn said, home is what you make it. And so the Orville is his home and that is his family. You know, Dr. Finn, um, Captain Mercer, Kelly, Bordas, Gordon, um, Lamar, that is his family. The Orville is his home. And in the next episode, what is going to happen with the Krill? The Krill now is, you know, part of like peace talks and uh, they found a common enemy in the Kalons. What happens to the Kalons in the future? Like, will they remember this as um, a significant event in their history where they have to reattempt the annihilation of all biological creatures again? It's just building up more intrigue for season three. This episode was awesome. I would just say these two episodes were the best two episodes of the Orville. Guys, from Singapore, flip. Out. Awesome, awesome, awesome review, Flip. I have to echo a lot of the things you said. I'm not going to repeat everything you said, but yeah, the spectacular battle was intense. You don't expect that kind of stuff from shows like the Orville or, or Star Trek, where the goal or the mission is more exploratory or they're on an expedition to explore the vast amounts of space and meet new life forms and civilizations. So when we get an episode like this, 
it's intense and i have to agree with you it is the best two episodes of season two or practically the entire series the the space battle just yeah it it had it had like shades of battlestar galactica it had shades of star wars you know it had a moment with gordon flying through and and destroying a kalon ship and going woo just like uh, han solo when he saves luke skywalker in uh in the a new hope what yeah, I have to echo a lot of what you said. It was a great episode. Shout out to the commenter who said they're going to need the help of the Dalek. And guess what? They had Captain Dalek. It might as well have been a Dalek. So great shout out. Great prediction there. Yes, my prediction didn't really come through. He didn't find Ty's drawing, but he did evolve. He became aware of this sympathetic notion that Kalons can't possibly have, which is an interesting concept. We now know that Isaac is growing, he's evolving, he's learning, the machine learning, the AI in his brain is is taking all the data he's gotten from the Orville and his contact with, with the crew and, and his experiences with biological life forms is finally taking shape. And so we got the best two episodes of the show and yeah, that's it, man. I mean, the space battle was great. We got some awesome action with Yafit and Ty, and we got some amazing stuff from the Krill, man. The Krill showed up. Anyways, guys, let us know what you thought of this episode. Leave it in the comment section down below. What do you think will happen, Isaac? I think he's gonna be reintegrated into the Union, and he's going to upgrade all of their deflectors. He's gonna give them weapons to defend themselves against the Kalon. But in any case, what do you think? Leave it in the comment section down below. Leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next week.